Hi everyone, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. And a big hi to all my subscribers out there. And thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Really do appreciate it. If you're new, welcome. Um, and I hope life's treating you all well. Um, it's blinking cold here in the UK at the moment, today. I think it's about minus three uh, in centigrade. Um, and obviously that, that for us that's that is cold uh, and they're threatening more snow and ice and all that sort of stuff from from the north from the Arctic um, anyway uh, a catch up where are we well we've got some progress on the truck not a lot but we have had some progress and we'll get over to the bench and we'll have a look at that in a minute I've also got some uh, new things to add to the stash so I want to show you those as well and uh, I think without further ado let's get over to the bench and we'll have a look so moving on to um, the display case and the box basically um, this is a display case that I bought uh, probably on eBay I think I can't remember um, I've had it in this in the stash for I don't know about six seven years I think so it's basically uh, 310 millimeters long it's 170 millimeters deep and it's 190 millimeters high um, obviously it's a sort of pop together case on a base so I'm going to use the base everything will fit within within that display case and uh, you know everything will it'll get a dust cover which is great because I do like to, to have a dust cover on these things so anyway let's move on to the actual base of it which is underneath so sorry about the glare but it's a sort of polished plastic look at that oh great see this great reflection of me in the camera um, but yeah so that's um, you know that's that's the base now what I'm going to use uh, on the base um, the first thing we're going to do is actually sand that to get rid of that that gloss um, because I suspect that that might be virtually a non-stick finish so I'm going to give that a cut of going over with some fairly coarse um, either wet and dry sandpaper or whatever um, and take that sheen off of it so I'll move that out of the way let's get my so I've got my list here of the jobs that I'm going to be doing today hopefully um, so what I'm going to use is this uh, AK Terrains Asphalt. Um, I've used this before on bases. Really good, good product. Um, you can do some really good effects on the surface. So my thoughts are that given that, um, I'm going to sort of do pretty much most of this as a as a as a sort of tarmac surface. Um, I've got this wall here um, which will be where the young lads will sit um, from my last video you'll remember I had these two uh, characters uh, these are in primer at the moment so they'll sit on the wall um, with this kit I think there, there was a ladder so I think I'll put that behind and then behind this wall I'll just put some grassy vegetation type stuff and then the guys can be sort of sat on the wall looking down at the truck I haven't got the truck fully assembled at the moment so what I will do so if I get the the chassis um, that can that can sort of sit actually I think it will be let's be careful put that round I think it'll be that way round with the flap down this side so it'll be there with the with the guys leaning against it and whatnot um, the dispatch rider about here um, and then the boys sat up on the up on the up on the wall watching watching the guys looking look at playing with the dog basically so I think that'll fit nicely on there so that's a general sort of layout that I'm going for um, so we'll push on with the uh, 
some more of the build oh get that in so it doesn't fall over um and that's that's the idea that's the plan so i'll come back to you shortly because i'll have made a bit more progress right first and foremost um the truck well the truck has actually been a bit of a pig i've uh, had a great deal of difficulty aligning the the front the two sides and the rear of the cab in the right position it it's proven to be i don't know <laughs> Just one of those things, I suppose. One of those kits that's come along and decided it's going to play about and be awkward and and whatever. Um, so I had a lot of problems. There's a there's a join up here. Had a lot of problems lining that up. Seam here again had a lot of problems lining that up. And the other two on the other side, the same thing. Um, I had to take off the sort of nudge bar thing that's at the front here. Uh, that was just getting in the way, and I couldn't get the whole thing to line up. So it, it's been a bit of a pig, um, and it's got to have been to the stage where I've had to mask t masking tape it all up, um, get everything aligned, and then glue certain sections and then and then tape them up and uh it's yeah it's it's been a bit of a pig and uh, i think probably most of that is my my fault but hey you know pushed on with that <laughs> rewardless as they say um the other thing that i've been working on is the two little chaps that are going to sit on the wall um Got those painted up into the basic sort of colours. Got to do a bit more work, obviously, on on their hair and their faces. But they went together quite well, and they they do sit reasonably well on the on the diorama, which uh, I spoke about in the last video. And uh, that's pretty much as far as they are, as far as the truck is. The next bit with the truck is going to be um, to get the body together. And I've got the actual main body is painted and it's I've gone over it with a sort of highlighting it and whatnot but I've got to do more in terms of the sort of weathering and whatever I've tried to get sort of a sort of a, <laughs> a sort of a blotchy paint finish on the floor I've got to do do a little bit more about weathering on the floor of that and then get get all the equipment into place um that in itself has gone together quite well and i'm quite pleased with that the underside got the mud flaps in place and all of that got the rear steps in place the photo etch rear steps i've got to highlight the lights the tail lights and stuff so there's still a few bits bits of work to do on that but that that part of it is actually just going to put that over there is actually progressing nicely so as i said the other thing is i've got a couple of things that i've added to the stash so i'll just get those together and i'll come back to you so the first thing i've got is this kit from airfix bristol bloodhound um we see it's a missile but it comes with a Land Rover and a trailer and all sorts of things. This is a really old kit from Airfix. I'm sure quite a few of you have seen this uh, sort of various release video. Sorry about the glare. It's, it's actually really sunny here today. So I'm getting getting glaring from the window over to my right. But anyway, it's a nice little kit. Um, I built this way, way back in, well, I don't know. I mean it was it was back in the days before um, I was allowed to have paints <laughs> um, my dad always used to say you're not going to have paints you'll make a bloody mess in your mum and mine and blah blah all that stuff anyway um, so I bought, I bought this I'm going to put it together and I'm actually paint it so um, it, it's, an, like I say, it's, a, it's an old kit 
vintage kit by Airfix. Um, it came in one big plastic bag, but it's the old type, the old type sprues, these trees. Um, I'll do a proper unboxing of this um, when I do the build. So uh, I'll show you that in more detail later, as they say. Just stick that over there. Um, and the other thing I bought was something which is a bit left field, really. But I bought this. Um, I saw this at <laughs> Blanking Glare. Um, hold on. Oh, there you go. If I move over. <laughs> right. So this is, um, as it says on the box, Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship of the Ring, Middle Earth, strategy battle game figures from... from um, Warhammer um, from the Warhammer franchise um, and this is pretty much as it says on the on the cover there you've got all the figures from the fellowship of the ring I haven't opened this already and torn the box hold on a minute let's see if I can get it open again it seemed to be a really awkward box to open for some reason it's just me being bloody clumsy I expect but whole group of figures all the different characters from the book stroke film all of that sort of thing and uh um, and the one ring so if you are looking for the one ring i've got it um yeah uh, i just thought it might be fun just to give these a, a little bit of a paint up and see how they come out um just a little bit of stuff for the left field um but yeah so that's it um a couple of little newbies for the for the stash um, I don't know when I'll do these I, I don't even know if I'll I'll paint these and, and put them up but I might I might do just for just for the uh, just for the fun of it um, so yeah I'll put these back in the box um, anyway that's it really um, like I say not a lot of progress on the truck because it's been playing silly beggars with me and uh, a couple of things to add to the stash um and that's about it really um yeah anyway hope you found it interesting i hope you're all well um keep warm if you're in the uk or anywhere else that's cold to be fair and keep cool if you're in somewhere that's hot um and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>